What's up everybody, Zach here. And today we are going to put together the Grizzly Bear Crawl Heavy Duty Mobile Base with the extension, which is separate. I think they're both about $59. And they are going to be underneath my Jet 10-inch uh, extended rip cabinet saw. This is everything that comes in the box, four corners, the uh, four tubular steel or uh, square uh, steel pieces, the casters are marked pretty well. Two swivel, two fixed, and a hardware kit. And we got the instructions right there. First, I believe what I'm going to do, I saw the redneck, he's on YouTube. I don't know if he's the redneck unemployed woodworker or not. He did a really good review on this. And what he did is he lifted his saw up with a bar, just using like a lever. Um, and he put it up on three quarter inch plywood, little pieces, and then built the base around it, and then just took it off the plywood. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get everything set up, and I'll be right back. All right, so the first step is we need to take the front corner brackets right here and mount the swivel casters onto uh, this part of the bracket with uh, four bolts and lock nuts. We'll do that now. And the last one for this bracket. Right. We have that all mocked up. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. I don't think you need to see that. And I'll get right back. I got one of the front brackets, uh, all the bolts are already snugged up. Just going to finish tightening the other bracket, and then we will have the wheels finished. Just using my DeWalt driver and a, what's this, half inch wrench. Let's tighten these up. Simple, just bolt, lock nut. All right. Just gotta unscrew this. And I believe it just goes up from underneath. Let's see if you guys can see this. Plunger. And they say to have 
straight on top. Down in there. Two of the same bolts that we used on the feet. Now we gotta secure the foot pedal with one of the longer bolts with the lock nut. So we'll hold one of these. Just like that. So this one works most of the like this. that goes in there like that and that's what's gonna be the action. Push it up and down on the outside. Step through, we just secure with another lock nut. Good. Might have to tighten it up a hair. Let's go a little more. Alright, that's good for now. I'm gonna do the other one. Pause it real quick and come back to you. Let's see. Let's put lever, give you a better shot of it. one next and we'll be getting close to put that I think we gotta put the we're doing that step right now along with that and next we'll put the fixed caster on the other two brackets so I, I mounted the fixed casters as you can I don't know if you can tell in the picture but there's a gap there gap there rolls fine fairly straight not a big deal um, to put this together just one bolt and then there's two bearing sleeves that just went into each side of the wheel and this is threaded, so it screws or bolts, threads right in there. Now this one, I believe, is manufactured a little bit off. Let's see if you can, I don't know if you can tell, but... So. See, it's off. It's touching on that top spot, and you can really see it there. I think that's just machined wrong, because uh, the bolt, I'm looking at it now, where it where it goes in, that's actually angled down. That's why I'm off. I'm not going to send it back, but I would say that that's going to take some points off because that's going to rub a little bit. Since the table saw is so heavy, it's going to roll okay, but it's probably going to wear that wheel down if I were to move it a lot. Just something to note. I got most of that together now. I'm going to have to open the directions on the extension table because I believe there's a bracket in there that's got to be put on before you put it together 100%. And if you don't then you got to take it apart. So I'm going to open that up, check out the instructions, and get that together. All right. This right here is the contents of the extension kit. You have the main bracket there. You have the one tube bracket that fits into the base in between um, the two rail, two of the uh, rail from each side goes through, and then the other piece that goes on there. Hardware kit some swivels. I'm going to get that mocked up and probably put the casters on and then we'll probably be close to getting on the ground. It'll start coming together. Got these casters. They're both swivel on the extension. 
bracket. Just gonna have to tighten these up. Put together exactly the drum wrench. The same as the casters on the bare ball base. Oh, you know what? I did need to switch sockets, I forgot. So I was using a 14 millimeter on the bolt for the uh, the fixed casters. And now I'm going back down to a 13 millimeter just because I feel like grabbing a fit uh, and a half inch wrench to tighten these up. By the way, this DeWalt uh, 20 volt driver is awesome. I got this to demo a trade review for the uh, Home Depot Siege program. I got this in the new drill with the upgraded chuck. They've been awesome. I've had no problems with them. I use them every day. Alright, that one's done. Snug this one up. like we did on the bear crawl base, the levers that help you raise and lower um, the extension table. Again, I just unthread. Okay. Unthread. Stick it in the top. Attach it and screw the bit boards in. It's about where it is. I may be missing one nut. Double check to see if he's going with the lock on or not. Yep, locked on. So, down. Sorry about that. 